Sniff, sniff, sniff. Oh, my dogs, my happy dogs, my tired dogs. Once again, entering the back fields of the gracious park that has graced me for many years now. Another insight of my fairly quiet life. Um, I would say boring, but I feel like the minute I admit that it is boring, it is boring. This video is quite literally nothing. It's other than the fact that I am very bored. <laughs> I mean, I do things like I listen to audiobooks. I walk my dogs. I hit the gym. Earlier this week, I played tennis. I had this great massage. However, it was a full body massage. My full bunda was out. No, I really love to do something with videos. You know what I mean? Create. Every time I find myself like doing it, the long process of it, I get really bored and I just give up. It's the beautiful fields. I don't particularly enjoy the summer just because I, I don't do much. <laughs> Think, no, uh, that's a lot. I could do stuff, but I just don't really exit the 5km radius. Sometimes I just feel like I'm falling behind, you know, like my mates are all going on holiday or having really cool internships and I'm just here with my dogs in the sun. Not to be fair, why am I complaining? Realistically speaking, this is my issue. I think I've made that an issue. I bestowed that problem on myself. No one cares. I just finished listening to The Courage to be Disliked and how we should realise that a lot of the issues we have are interpersonal. It's how we view ourselves in regards to other relationships. For instance, right now, I feel I feel about myself thinking, I, oh, I am never going to amount to everything in my life. That's an extreme case because so-and-so has an internship, so-and-so is in a holiday and stuff. Therefore, how I view myself in regards to other people, I feel well, inferior, because I'm not doing these things. Truth of the matter is, um, I am not inferior, nor I'm superior. I'm just me. The book really focuses on that we should see our relationships with other people as horizontal relationships, not vertical. Now, what the f does that mean? Everyone's running their own race. No one's running the same race as you. If anything, there's no, no end to the race. The only end to the race is death. And when you start realizing that your issues are interpersonal, it changes how you view yourself. You are given these tools. It's not how can you change these tools, it's how you use these tools. How do you use it to your own advantage? Say for instance, so-and-so has an iPhone. You have, I don't know, a Samsung. Both of them have their perks. Both of them have their positives. How do you use them if you're either given the iPhone or the Samsung? I don't know what I'm talking about. It's such a beautiful sunny day. You know, I could be like, you know what, I, I lead a boring life. But realistically, I only think it's boring in regards to other people. In fact, I lead a sleigh life. Look, how, look at the gracious sun. Oh, you know what, I went tennis earlier with some of my mates. Most brilliant thing I've ever done. Anyways, I removed my... I removed my um, microphone piece because I actually started getting insecure because all the dog walkers walking past me see this little microphone piece and be like what the hell is this girl doing another example how all our issues are interpersonal um, but no life is great I mean I'm enjoying the trees and stuff and like the only exciting thing in my life is my driving theory test um, and the fact that I like tennis now so 